Dreamcast product. So this is what you get when you remove the outer cover. Then you can actually open it like a little book and inside you will see the Google Chrome Cast. Okay, and you can actually lift that up as well and underneath you'll get accessories. So you get the, um, the micro USB cable and then you get the HDMI extender which is optional and you get the USB uh, charger that plugs to the wall. And on the left, you get step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started. I'm going to do a demonstration, so let's skip this and go straight to the demonstration. Okay, so here's the side of my TV, and I'm going to be using the USB port to actually power my uh, Chromecast. So here's the uh, USB cable. This is a micro USB cable, and the little side is going to attach to my Google Chromecast. So let's do that right now. Okay, so that goes to the back, and then you grab the Google Chromecast, and you attach that to any available HDMI port. The other end of the USB goes to the USB port, and this is only, we're only doing this because we are charging the device using the TV's USB port. If you don't want to do that, or if you don't have a USB port on your TV, you can use the wall charger, and then you will plug the USB cable into the USB port of the wall charger and then you can actually grab your remote and you can power on your TV and then make sure that you uh, choose the correct HDMI port as your input port so on my remote control I'm gonna find the input button which is right there on the top and once I press that I get the option to pick the HDMI 2 port okay so once you click that the Chromecast is loading up and there you go so it says set me up on the top and it says on your laptop or your phone visit that website to set up your Google Chromecast and then at the bottom it says that your um, setup name is Chromecast 2053 so let's go ahead and do that so uh, launch your Safari browser. This is my Mac computer, but you can use your Windows. It's the same exact process. So let's go to the website that it's, it is telling me to go. So that's google.com slash Chromecast slash setup. Okay, press enter right after you do that. And then you'll go to this website. And this website says, welcome. Let's get you set up and casting download the application and then once it's completed go to your downloads folder and click it click it uh, to get started takes a couple of seconds there okay just drag and drop it to install and it's ready okay so launch the Chromecast applications from the applications folder click open agree to the terms and then it's going to be looking for your Chromecast it's hunting for your Chromecast and there you go it says it found Chromecast 2053 and all you need to do is click continue and it's going to connect to Chromecast 2053 okay takes a couple seconds here and there you go let me zoom out real quick because you will see that alphanumeric character on your screen as well so that's L3 M G so go ahead and click where it says that's my code on your MacBook Pro okay, and as soon as you click it you're gonna get a brand new menu and from this menu let me zoom in on this from this menu you're gonna pick your wireless network you're gonna pop in your password and you're gonna give your Chromecast its own name and I'll be naming mine Saki Chrome okay and once you're done just click continue and it says Saki Chrome is joining the network so let me zoom out so you can see what's going on it says connecting to network my network and there we go the connection is complete so it says Saki Chrome on my TV which is the name of my Chromecast device. 
Okay, so let me launch my Chrome browser on my Mac and make sure you don't launch Safari. Make sure you launch the Chrome browser. That's the only way you can stream to your TV. You also do need to download the extension. So let me zoom in on that. So it says right there, hang in there, you're almost done. Just add the cast extension to Chrome. Okay, so click add extension. And it's going to ask you to click add again. And you're done. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, go to youtube.com. I'm going to show you how to cast YouTube to your TV. In fact, how to cast the Chrome browser to your TV. So let me zoom in on to the corner of my computer. I'm going to show you something real quick. That little button right there is the Chrome cast button. So if you want to cast your browser to your TV, you click on that button. Once you click on it, you get the option to cast the browser to the Saki Chrome browser. So let's do that right now live. Okay, so I just clicked the button and let's see what happens on the TV. Okay, so there you go. So the uh, the website is duplicated on the TV and as, as I move around in the on the website the website on the high-definition TV moves as well with a little bit of lag because it's a wireless connection okay so let's click any song any video and see what happens on the TV okay looks like the TV is going into YouTube mode and then you can actually see the name, the title of the video on the top, um, how many views it got, what date it was uploaded, and who is the YouTube user that is providing the video. But anyway, I just want to let you know that um, you can continue to use your computer while this is happening. So you could be streaming a video, uh, uh, any video on YouTube to your TV and you can continue using your computer to do whatever you want okay and uh, I, I'm having a little problem with my uh, Wi-Fi connection so the videos are not playing because it's actually performing very slow but you would see the actual music video playing on your TV and then when you're done you can go to the little Chromecast button click on it and click stop casting or cast this tab you can also cast specific tabs on your uh, browser just so you know but if you want to stop casting it all you do is you click stop casting button okay and the casting has stopped on the TV as you can see so next I'm going to do a demonstration using my Android phone so let me launch the YouTube app and there's my video that is playing and what I'm gonna do is as you can see on the top there is a Chromecast button right there. So if you tap it, you get the option to send the signal to your high definition TV. So let's tap that and see what happens. Okay, it says connecting on the phone, and then the YouTube mode is activated on the TV. And there goes my video. Okay, so my video is playing on the high definition TV while my phone is right here and I can continue using my phone as I please even though I'm casting a YouTube video using Google Chromecast so I can do whatever I want let's go back to the YouTube and then let's tap the Chromecast button right there and go back to my phone so tap phone Okay, and as you can see, Chromecast has disabled and it's gone back to the ready to cast mode. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, subscribe to Saki Tech if you like my channel and my videos. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. You can also connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just put them down in the comment section below. And also, all the links to my social media is in the description below. And I will see you the next time.